So now that you understand the difference between a food allergen and an environmental allergen, which is pretty much nothing, what causes and how does the body handle the allergy problems in the first place? The easiest way to think about it is it's like a castle. Our body is like a castle. And the moat is actually, we haven't really talked about yet, is your mucus layer. There is a thin layer of mucus that sits on top of the mucus membrane. And that mucus layer is extremely important and that's sort of like the moat of your castle. Then the, the walls of your castle are the mucus membranes. So when the moat hadn't worked and the, and the walls haven't worked and it gets into your castle, then the guards of your castle are basically your immune cells. And the most important immune cell that you have in the uh, an allergy situation is called your mast cell. And a mast cell, what it does is that's what produces the histamine that starts the inflammatory response that allows your body to kill those allergens or to chew them up so that they, so that they don't have that effect on you anymore. Then once you get to the point where all of the mast cells have done their work and the histamine response has com been completed, and the uh, inflammatory response is starting to calm back down, then of course your liver is sort of the garbage collection system of your castle. And then it takes all the garbage and all the stuff that has been left over and goes and cleans it up and gets rid of it through your digestive tract. So that's really the way allergies work. And so one of the other factors that you have to really take into consideration is what's called a leaky mucous membrane. And you have a leaky mucous membrane in your gut, you can have a leaky mucous membrane in your lungs, you can have leaky mucous membranes in your nasal cavities, in your kidneys, any area where there is a mucous membrane, those mucous membranes can leak. And every time you have a leak in your mucous membrane is when you're also going to have an uh, allergic response and over time that allergic response will get worse and worse and worse as your allergic system becomes weaker and weaker.